You are about to take upon yourself a solemn vow with lasting responsibilities. The woman of your choice is now to become the partner of your life, the co-heir of your possessions, the queen of your home. She leaves her home ties, the companionship of friends, to share with you the joys of life. With you, she will now abide, and for you, she will now live. Strive to so live that no word or deed of yours will cloud her brow with grief or dim her eyes with tears. And do you promise to love, to honor, and cherish your wife even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it and forsaking all others, keep yourself for her only? Larissa, you also assume serious responsibilities in this relationship. He whom you are about to wed will look to you for comfort in the hour of trial. Your smile should be his brightest day. Your voice his sweetest music. Your industry his greatest wealth. Your economy his safest steward. Your lips his faithful counselor. And your prayers his most able support. Do you promise to love, to honor, and cherish your husband, and forsaking all others, keep yourself for your husband only? I am thrilled to have finally made it to this special day. October 12th is not only our special day, but also my mom's birthday. And it's the only other woman I have loved as much as you. As we stand up here in front of our friends, family, and God, I pledge to honor both of you and my mom for the rest of my life. I vow to cherish this marriage as the most important duty in my life and put your needs above my own. I promise to grow with you and support you in everything you do. I promise to be patient, understanding, and kind. For you are my best friend, my closest ally, and my most prized possession. I hope together we will build a life of love and respect. Every day I vow to do my best to kindle the light in you and in me. The light that is the reflection of God's holiness. It is this holiness that I hope to share with the world, but most importantly, to share with each other. No matter what happens, I promise to always choose you, and I hope you always choose me. Andy, you are the man I always prayed I would find. Thank you for loving me and bringing so much joy to my life. Today, I promise to love you and encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I promise to build a life and home together with you, filled with Jesus, patience, learning, laughter, and forgiveness. I cannot promise you that I will be a perfect wife, but I do promise that I will choose you and choose to love you every single day for the rest of our lives, through whatever may come our way. I love you. Yeah. Andy, take the ring, place it upon the finger of your bride, and repeat after me. I and thee with this ring. I and thee with this ring. Wed you, Larissa. Wed you, Larissa. And with my worldly goods. And with my worldly goods. I entrust you. I entrust you. And by this act declare. And by this act declare. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. 
that I take you to be my beloved wife, I take you to be my beloved wife. and that I will be to you a faithful husband. I, Larissa, with this ring, I, Larissa, with this ring, do wed you, Andy, and with my worldly goods, I entrust you, and by this act declare, in the presence of these witnesses, that I take you to be my beloved husband, and that I will be to you, fidelity, I do by the authority conferred upon me by the Church of Jesus Christ and by the laws of this state pronounce you husband and wife, no longer two but now one, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Andy, you may kiss your bride. It is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andy Elliott.